Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to set up shipping charges into your WooCommerce website in the right way. If you sell physical product like watches or t-shirt, you need to ship that product to your customer's address. Let's say your shop is based on the United States and you wanna ship that product into United States or other countries and you wanna set up different prices depending on different shipping zone. Sounds difficult? No, it's super easy. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do that step by step. Now before moving forward, please make sure you have liked this video, subscribe this YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you won't miss any website related valuable videos, tips and tricks and step by step website creation tutorials. Now it's time to learn everything about shipping. So let's go to our WooCommerce settings. Now from the top tab, let's now click here on shipping. So for shipping, we actually can create different shipping zones. Like if our shop is based on United States, California, then you can set up a local zone and we can set up a shipping method like local pickup. Also, if you want to create a shipping zone for whole United States, for example, we can name it US domestic zone and we can set a flat rate shipping rate for that. Okay, so let's now add a shipping zone. So here you can see add shipping zone, click here. So I want to create this zone for whole United States. So here's the zone name. I want to name it USA zone and zone region. I want to select United States, the whole United States. So I'm selecting this. Now we need to select a shipping method. So let's click here, add shipping method. Here is different shipping methods available like flat rate or there is free shipping option. Also, there is local pickup option. But for the whole United States, I want to select the flat rate. Now click on add shipping method. So it's added here. If we now click here on edit. Now from here, you can see the method title is flat rate and tax status. I want to make it none and the cost as it's a flat rate. So I want to set here $10. So if anyone orders from the whole United States, they will have to pay $10 flat rate for shipping. Let's now click here on save changes. Okay, now let's have a look, go to our shop page. Let's now select any product. Okay, so let's select this purse. Also, let's select this rider hoodie. Medium size black. Okay, let's add to cart. Now if we view the cart and if we scroll down here, you can see the shipping flat rate 10 has been added. Let's now add another shipping zone. So let's go back to WooCommerce. I'm in WooCommerce settings. So let's now click on shipping zones. Here we have created USA zone. So let's now create another zone. Click here on add shipping zone. Let's create this zone for UK. So I want to name it UK zone and zone region. I want to select United Kingdom, select it. And for United Kingdom, let's select a shipping method. Click here, add shipping method. Let's keep it flat rate as well and click here on add shipping method. So here's the flat rate. Click on edit. Make the tax status to none. And for UK, let's say you are a shop based on United States. So if you want to ship to United Kingdom, you want to charge that customer more. So for United Kingdom, I want to make the cost $20. Now click on save changes. So for the USA zone, we made the flat rate $10. And for the UK zone, we have made the flat rate $20. Okay, let's now go to our cart page. And if we now refresh the page, here you can see the shipping price is $10 flat rate. As our address is now selected to California, United States. But from here, if we click here, change address. So instead of United States, if we now select United Kingdom and click on update. See now the shipping price is $20 flat rate. So this is how it works. But now I want to show you more advanced things. Now let's go back to do the advanced things. I want to install a plugin. 
So from plugins, let's now click on add new. Then from the search bar, I'm searching for WooCommerce table rate gem. So this one WooCommerce advanced shipping by gem plugins. I really like this plugin. It's super handy. So let's now click here install now. Now activate it. Now from left go to WooCommerce to settings, go under shipping tab. Now I want to add more advanced option on USA zone. So let's now click here on edit. Now here shipping method is flat rate. But first I want to delete this one. And now click here on add shipping method. Because this time instead of flat rate, I want to use this table rate. And we're getting this table rate option as we have just installed WooCommerce table rate plugin. So let's now select table rate and click add shipping method. So shipping method table rate is selected. Now click on edit. Here they are offering their pro version but we don't need that because in this tutorial I want to do everything using all free tools. So here you can see list of shipping methods. Click here on add new. Now first select this one enable this shipping method and method title I want to name it USA table rate handling fee I want to keep it blank and tax status I want to make it not taxable and here is the nice thing so you can set up the shipping rate depending on conditions like from here let's select the total price Let's set the minimum value 0 and the maximum value let's keep it 50. So if anyone orders any product that's price in between $0 to $50 then the shipping rate will be $15. Let's now add another rate click here. Also select total price then here minimum price let's set it $51 to $250. So if anyone orders in between $51 to $250 for them the shipping rate will be $10. And let's add another new rate. Also select total price. So here minimum value 251 and the maximum value I want to make it a really big number. So actually it means if anyone orders over $251, I want to keep the shipping rate for them only $5. By the way, not only depending on prices, you can select these conditions for the measurements. Like if you select add new rate, here you can see you can set the condition for weight. So if anyone orders from let's say 10 kg, to 50 kg then you can set a different shipping rate for them. So I'm just showing you there is this option available but I don't want that. So I'm selecting this one and click on delete selected rates. So now we have these three conditions. Let's now click here on save changes. Alright now if we go to our cart page again and if we now refresh our cart page now here you see the shipping price is $10 USA table rate. Why is it $10? Because their subtotal price is $180. So if we now have a look on our conditions, if someone orders in between $51 to $250, then the shipping rate will be $10. And here is the subtotal price is $180. That's in between $51 to $250. That's why the shipping rate is now $10. Let's see if we now remove this product from here. So let's now delete this from cart. Still we can see the shipping rate is $10 because the subtotal price is up to $51. Okay, so I also want to delete this product. Let's now go to shop. Actually now I want to add a product that's under $50. So let's find a product. Actually, we don't have any product under $50. Okay, so let's click on this bag. Now go to edit product and then scroll down. Here's the regular price. I want to make its price to $25. Let's now scroll up, click on update. Now let's view the product. And if we now add this product to the cart and let's view the cart now. Now we can see the shipping rate is $15. 
only to show you this change i have changed the product price so you already know why is the shipping price is 15 dollar because we have set the condition on that way like if anyone orders in between zero dollar to fifty dollar then the shipping rate would be 15. that's why we can see here as the subtotal price is 25 dollar that's under 50 dollar that's why here's the shipping price is 15 dollar and i have a complete woocommerce tutorial in this channel where i have shown everything in detail step by step from start to finish so no matter if you're a complete beginner you can create a complete e-commerce website by following that tutorial i have shown there everything how to get your domain name and web hosting how to add any type of products how to take payments how to deliver products to your customers everything if you follow that tutorial step by step, you can start selling anything online from today. I will put the tutorial link in the description so you can check that out. If you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe this YouTube channel and press the bell icon so whenever I will upload a new video, you will get notified before anyone. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.